I was traumatized early in life. It was the moment I realized the color of my skin determined if I was hated or liked. And more confusion plagued my mind because playing on my TV were wholesome sitcoms with Andy Griffith, Barney Fife, and Little Opie. Even Lucille Ball and all the cartoons depicted a world which could never be so cruel as to have segregation, discrimination, and bombings of black churches, assassinations of presidents, and our beloved civil rights leaders. So can you understand why in this child's eyes everything seemed to be disguised? And just as two plus two is four, how I long for such logic to make sense in the world. Like, if I would love and respect you, you would love and respect me too. But this paradox in which I lived forced a maturity beyond my years. While I abided by the golden rule, I now knew of those who would judge and abuse totally based upon my skin's hue. But thankfully I was surrounded in love within my mom's inner circle. Beautiful blacks, whites, and Asians who fortified my hope of better times and strengthened my faith in a flawed mankind. So now as an adult, I look back in tears on that coming of age life lesson. And only now can see the pearl of wisdom hidden in between my childhood delusion. I learned that life should never reflect us, but we should impact life. And despite any social injustice, my fist of freedom will never unfurl. For in my heart, I believe like Louis Armstrong, it's still a wonderful world.